Now the first step we need to do is go to the Google website which has the Android application which also contains the emulator. So let's go to code.google.com. Now I'm taking you to the main page because um, they may shift around where they put the Android application. So we can see it over here on the left side. It's where it is now anyway. And then we want the SDK. So let's look around the page for the SDK and we see it up over here under getting started. Let's click that link. And of course in order to use the application you need to read and agree to the SDK license. Let's uh, click continue. Now the one we want is for Windows. Android SDK for Windows 1.0 release 1. The uh, file you're looking at may not be exactly the same as the one I'm looking at and that may be due to updates. For example today is September 23rd 2008 and if there's an update available they may rename the file so just make sure it's for Windows and it's the Android SDK and you notice it's a zip file please uh, my suggestion in unzipping this file is to use a program I'm going to show you in just a second so in order to use that program uh, I want you to right click save this link click save as save it to your desktop for now don't unzip it save it to your desktop and uh, it's going to take a little bit to download so I'm going to pause my video it will appear to have downloaded quickly but uh, it's about 90 megs here so let me pause this and then show you the program that will unzip this the best in just a sec here okay that's now downloaded let me close this window and you'll see here I have it on my desktop now the reason I asked you to wait is because if you use Windows built-in zip archive extractor it's gonna literally take 15 to 20 minutes I suggest you use WinRAR so I'm gonna take you to the website rarlabs.com is a very popular zip utility and it is the fastest I know of click on downloads over here and usually it's the top file on this page you can see it's for pocket PC Linux etc so let's click this WinRAR let's save it to our desktop or wherever and then we want to launch the application you can go ahead and use the built-in Windows uh, zip extractor if you choose but I will tell you it's going to take an awful long time to extract it this program will do it in just a few minutes so let me close all this out and now I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the Android zip file and I want to extract this to my desktop let's uh, let's do that that way we're all on the same page so extract this to your desktop is gonna take about two or three minutes so I'm gonna go ahead again and and um, pause this while it finishes and I'll resume yours will take a few minutes okay mine's finished uh, extracting those zip files into a folder here on my desktop now what we want to do is create a directory right on the C drive so double click on your computer go to your C drive and let's create a new folder called Android let's open that up let's open up the uh, folder that contains the SDK and we're gonna copy all of these files and hit edit select all or you can copy them as I just did and edit copy let's go over to the Android folder edit paste and we're gonna let those copy into that folder okay now that those are all copied let me close all these windows and what we want to do now we need to change some system variables so go to your settings go to the control panel we need to get to the system variables if this is the view you have change it to classic view 
and we want to go to system system properties in the system properties we want advanced environmental variables and we're going to change this path here now the reason we're going to do that is so that the application can be run from a command prompt and we won't have to type in a long directory to do that so let's click edit now it doesn't matter what you currently have here we want to make sure that before we start typing there's a um, a backslash okay so if it's blank put a backslash if there's one there just leave it how it is and we're going to type a semicolon C colon backslash and we want to go to Android backslash tools okay that's the folder we made the emulator is in the tools folder so this is going to be a shortcut to help us launch a program quicker okay so colon or semicolon C that should be a colon sorry that should be a colon let me click OK so let me just repeat that we want a semicolon a C a colon a backslash Android backslash tools okay just like you see there if you need to pause the video to write it down I understand let me click OK OK let me close out all these windows now let's go to start run now if you don't get the uh, command the run command when you hit start go to start programs accessories and you'll see the command prompt here okay but anyway we want the command prompt I'm gonna click CMD here okay either way you can get there and now we want to type emulator now if it doesn't launch when you do this initially that's okay we'll fix it so I'm just gonna show you what happens if we just type emulator nothing but it tells us we need to use this data directory variable so let me type emulator data and we want to tell it where to store the files as we create them so let's type data direct dir c colon backslash okay emulator space dash data dir space c colon backslash now the emulator on a slow computer can take some time to run uh, in this case it it launched rather quickly for me because I've run it before now you'll notice first of all the Android with a blinking underscore again if your computer's slow this window may appear for several minutes so just uh, be patient while it loads okay then you're gonna get the Android with the blinking little robot and I've launched this before so your window might look a little different so this is the window that you'll likely see it may be different if you downloaded an updated SDK and you can see we got all the applications there okay